November horoscopes for all the signs. Halloween, Samhain, Witch Edition. I'm using the Spirit Song Tarot. We have the Shaman at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I just shuffled. We have the Ace of Crystals at the bottom of the deck. So we're talking about manifestation and in terms of material assets, money, good stuff. First, we have Scorpio, two of crystals, balance, bringing your spiritual world and your physical world into a harmonious union. Ace of shells, beautiful, this is some love for you coming in for Sagittarius. This is definitely moving slow, but it's for your own happiness. For your abundance for your overflow of good luck and it's definitely going to be a soulmate relationship capricorn justice look at you you might be pairing up with a libra this is definitely some air energy this is about being able to speak your things into existence and trusting the laws of the universe aquarius the magician look at you manifesting it's a very powerful month for you you can bring whatever you want into fruition by speaking it this is definitely having um determination consistency the willpower to create the life you want to see pisces what's happening for you this is beautiful the six of acorns this is success this is recognition this is coming up on top this is being number one this is gaining rewards the promotion this is definitely um a success card even said success and triumph. Um, after Pisces, we have Aries. Aries, the queen of crystals. Look at you. This is the queen of pentacles. This is definite money. This is be able to have something and let it, it manifest and grow. You nurture it. This is the queen of pentacles in other decks. Um, definitely luxury. There's com comfort. Definite prosperity. There's assets. It's building on what you already have. The hedgehog. After Aries, we have Taurus. Taurus, look at you coming with a major arcana. Temperance changes coming in for you. You may want to change your stripes. This is bringing things into balance. This is bringing change. This is also a harmonious way of bringing your spiritual and your uh, physical uh, life into materialism. Just what acoustic magic can you be right now to change your limited reality? After Taurus, we have... Did I skip Aries? I don't know, but I'll check. Um, after Taurus, the Gemini. Nine of Crystals. Wow, this is uh, security and abundance. I never would have associated the uh, spider with this, but they do work very hard to craft a very beautiful web. It's a lot of intricate work. You're very um, ambidextrous and very flexible, and you are a jack of all trades. You can bring what you want into existence by standing on your own two feet. Cancer. Knight of Crystals. Wow, everyone's got all these crystals. Maybe it's time to um, actually clear them up and, and recharge them, especially at this time of the year. This is someone who thinks of the long term. It was 333 on the clock when I said that. That might be healing your relationship with money. This is something that um, will endure the test of time with consistency. Also, after cancer, we have Leo. Leo, look at you, five of shells. You're crying over spilt milk. You're very sad over something that you think is unfair, something that was not justified, something that, um, not that it's not worth the trouble or the pain, but that is kind of like more like spilt milk. You have to come back into um, uh, a positive outlook on things, okay? The five of cups says you need to release something that was holding you back um maybe you just need to cry a little bit and it's okay if you do so after uh leo we have virgo virgo eight of shells eight of cups something you need to walk away from this is about um letting go and letting things flow this is about moving yourself out of a situation that no longer serves you this is about healing yourself and going on your own path we have quest and renewal with the starship bar star fish after uh virgo we have libra libra look at you eight of um sorry eight of wheels ten of wheels this is actually uh, representing your own uh month in october this is 
taking control of your own destiny and mastering that also it's also about moving to a place that suits you best but destiny and fate are coming at an intersection for you right now there's some magic that you can actually wield you have the power in your own hands and um i think i did leave already so let's go back and look so we did scorpio sagittarius capricorn aquarius this was Pisces. This should be Aries. Yep, we got Taurus. Gemini. Cancer. Leo. Uh, Virgo. And Libra. Happy November. If you'd like to get your own personal reading from me, I do offer tarot readings. I also offer tarot spokes. They're personalized. You can send me an email. We have three of acorns, three of wands. This card's come up so much in the last two, three days. This is about your prayers being answered. This is about being able to see. Um, uh, this is about believing in what you cannot see, okay? Uh, some advice is to light a three-wick candle and to pray three times a day or to meditate for three minutes. Um, to whatever gods or gods or um, higher being that you believe in. And I'm getting a little message here from the hummingbird that abundance is your birthright and it is coming towards you. Blessings. Happy Samhain.